Hey everyone, so I just talked for about 15 minutes and changed Norman and everything, and for some reason, um, my phone only captured the first four seconds and stopped. So here he is, already changed. I just wanted to come on and share him. I know I've been giving a lot of screen time to Niklaus, and I wanna make sure that you know that he is still loved. He was my first baby. He is very different than Niklaus. He is my cuddle baby, the one I'm not afraid to damage. Um, he is painted with air dry paints and he has painted hair. I don't think he's varnished. I don't know enough about air dry paints to really say, but he is shiny and smooth. Um, but this is the guy that can stay in the bed with me if I want to, and I'm not afraid of ruining, pulling his hair out or you know, rubbing his varnish off. Um, but I love him. He, I have checked. Some of you suggested that his legs were very long for his body. I did check for the kit. He is, his body is correct. He is supposed to have three quarter limbs and um, it, it's actually a preemie body. So I know that she said a small newborn, but he is actually preemie size. So what I put him in today is not a sleeper. I took him out of a super cute outfit that you can't see, but um, it is a sweatsuit, gray fleece. It's, it's The hood is lined and then there's a bear in the cream colored fleece on the front and then there's little bear ears. And it is, I think it's from Carter's. Yeah, it's Carter's. It's big on him, but it does look very cute. And underneath is a side snap cream colored t-shirt. Uh, it says, Mommy Loves Me. There's a little lion. And then Mommy, it looks like there's little screws holding that on. Mommy Loves Me. And I do. Um, I also wanted to update you. I made a decision on the baby for my daughter. Uh, I had gone for, I was going for a twin bee, a beautifully painted twin bee. And someone came in and won the auction, took it up just higher than I was willing to go, although still a great price. So I moved on and I actually found another kit, an open-eyed kit, a beautiful baby second, you know, actually I think that she's with her second mommy now. I did find out who the artist was, very impressive work. Um, he is, from all, everything I can see, extremely talented. And then about six hours later after I agreed to that purchase, <laughs> the seller of the Twin B contacted me and said that the buyer had not responded, had not paid, and that if that didn't happen by today, she was going to offer me the baby at my last highest bid. That's so frustrating when people do that because one, I would have loved to have gotten that baby, but I just, I thought about it and I just am not willing to stretch my budget that far with Christmas coming up and then potentially be holding on to a baby that I'm trying to sell because we don't need a thousand babies here. We don't have the space for it and um, it's just, it's not going to happen. And then also the seller is stuck with either having to relist or, so that's cruddy, but anyway. Um, so I'm excited she's coming home um, as soon as PayPal just so you know you guys if you do goods and services and you send an invoice um, I paid the invoice immediately PayPal unless I think unless you're established for a long time or you're linked to a bank account with a big balance they hold the funds for up to 21 days you can speed it up by putting the shipping information and it'll release it seven days later or the buyer can mark the shipment received and then three days later you get your money. So as soon as the money clears in her bank, she's going to ship her. And I got the chance today to swing by Once Upon a Child, which is a, a gently used baby and children's store, if you don't have one near you, just to pick up a couple of things for this little girl. And there was a little girl shopping with her mom and her mom said, you know, these are real baby clothes, um, not for your dollies. And so I looked at the little girl, she was probably about three or four years old, and I said, you wanna know something? I'm shopping for my dolls too. And she kind of looked at me like she wasn't sure, and then she got this big smile, and her mom laughed like I was kidding. And I said, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so I told her about Reborns and everything. Um, but I think her mom ended up letting her pick, up, pick out an outfit for her baby <laughs> dolls, so. So. I think I'm gonna give the doll to my daughter as a me to you just because gift. Um, one, I don't 
I'm not doing it because there's some holiday or some excuse to spend a lot of money. I don't want to set a precedent of gigantic gifts at every holiday either. I, um, with that said, I have been around her for going on six years now, and for almost five of those years, I didn't have my own separate income. Before I moved here, I always was very independent and you know, reasonably successful, but always had my own everything. And now that we, I'm running this business with my husband, um, sorry, I didn't have a separate income, so I didn't have, you know, paid for by myself presents for the kids. And she is such a good girl, and it's sort of my chance to give what I wasn't able to give before, but also this hobby. So I think that guys have sports and things like that that express that intrinsic nature that battle that warrior mentality you know moved to, to gladiator games coliseums and now it's like in professional sports um you know i'm generalizing stereotypical whatever um, for us i think that our intrinsic nature is to be nurturing and that definitely appeals to me i never had biological children so it definitely appeals to me on that front um, but it's also a wonderful way to connect mother daughter connect and i really want to nurture that and being nine she's very open-hearted and innocent and sweet and I think this is such a good positive um, outlet and if it's you know if we can keep her in these really connected and very sweet interests I think that'll help when she gets keeps getting older and is exposed to more influences and everything so I want to let her know all that. Also, she's the reason that I really believe that I'm a mom. She told me probably when she was five or six, I was telling her how the first thing I wanted to be was a mommy. And she said, and now you are one. And I, I was like, yeah. But she's reminding me that, you know, I had to really accept, like let that in. And it's really softened me up to allow myself to believe that they're my kids too and she just is constantly reminding me well you're my parent you have to sign this or you are a mom you know you're my stepmom and just so sweet so I just think that um what a great thing I just I just want to do it for her um, so I'm excited for that I'm going to tell her all that and uh, even though her dad probably won't entirely understand, she is the apple of his eye, so he will definitely probably cry. So, anyway, here is Mr. Norman Walker looking super cute. He has a new pillow that mommy is sharing with him. This came back with um, from Colorado. I stuffed it, but it's a pillow. Um, cover that says fight the dead fear the living it has the wings the walking dead which is my favorite all-time ever anything ever and of course Norman Walker is named uh, first name is after Norman Reedus who plays Daryl and Walker obviously for the walkers so thank you for watching I think that's all I have. I'm going to go finish cooking dinner for my dog and um, get on with the rest of my work for the evening. But it was great to chat. I look forward, forward to seeing all of your videos and uh, to talking soon. Thanks. Bye for now. Hey, I just wanted to sit, sit him up so you guys could just see him a little bit more with his floppiness because I picked him up and he just looks so cute. Here he is. My little sleeping boy in all his shiny glory. He's just a doll. And again, he is the Leah kit. Very affordable kit. This was a great baby, actually, for someone who's ready to get a reborn but is not can't afford yet to, to go for more of the premium dolls. Um, and his artist did a great job. Um, again, her name is Hope Barrow from Hope's Dream Babies, and her eBay ID is um, Art by Hope. Actually, it's asterisk, you know, the little star, asterisk Art by Hope, asterisk. Okay, bye for real this time. Bye.